Cool. Okay, that's a very strange and interesting mechanic. Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped your purse. Of course it is. Thank you so much for giving it back. Save money, sir. You'll need it. An optimist, I see. Alas, today is not the day for commerce. Suspicious folk from out of town are outlawed. But there's a shop that, ste that deals in stolen loot. Stood among the warehouses, trading with all sorts and no regard for reputation. So you may find a use for money yet. Ah, just the kind of place I'm looking for. Oh, thanks. Uh, where's that? You want to sell a revolver here? 3,000. He won't wait forever, though. One can buy things in this shop, no matter their reputation. Good. Oh, is that the shop that I was just at? Must be. Yeah. Interesting. Good to know. Wait, no. That must not... There's no way that's it. Dog killer. The dog killer is the dog head that I saw. You will testify to my alibi. We'll meet by the town hall. Yeah, okay. I should go do the town hall thing first and then go talk to Notkin about it. Because uh, the fact that people hate me here is kind of the more pressing issue. Why do I feel like these aren't going to have unlimited water for the entire game. Okay, well, that's just a playground. For some reason, I kept thinking that was really creepy, but I'm like, no, the kids are just playing. Kids are allowed to enjoy themselves without people thinking they're creepy as shit. Uh... So, I will say, creepy as shit. Oh! Oh! Did I walk down here before? Hi. Move along or I'll scream. I'm going, I'm going. Just calm down. Just too low. I'm hearing sounds and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Backbone, you're hated here. Is this the place? Uh. No, it's not. Further up yet. Oh, uh, hi. You're not going to fight me, are you? I'd rather not have anybody fight me right now. That would be very unfortunate. Hi, I'm just going to get in here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Where's... Where's the kid? What's that? What? Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> oh my god. So it is the cop dudes that are the problem. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I really don't want to fucking fight right now. My guy. Uh-oh. Uh, what if I do this? Does that help? Not at all. Alright. Well. That didn't go well. The dog-eared boy didn't come. No witness, as expected. Ah! Shit. Well. Guess I'll go talk to Notkin. Oh, I'm getting... Time is it? It's only like, it's not even four o'clock yet, dude. Hold on. I'll just. We'll go talk to Notkin and then. Um. See what comes of that. And then we'll go rest. Hopefully we can make it. I don't know how quickly exhaustion goes up. Though I feel like the fact that we just got into a fight didn't really help. What's our health at? Uh, it's not great right now. Shit's bad for old Artemy. Hold on, this looks like something interesting. What's going on over here? Oh... 
That's the boys that I murdered. Sure is the boys that I done did murdered. Well. Uh, probably not the best that I'm here right now. Uh, <laughs> I should maybe... Not be here right now. I figured those crows were kind of suspicious, and then I was like, oh, corpses. Don't worry about. Fuck. Oh, well. Hey, I'm just gonna try to sneak by you here. Don't worry about me. Hey! Hey now. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm innocent. I just want to go talk to some children. No big deal. I don't know where the f fuck that is, though. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's chill. Oh, I don't have a fingernail, though. A fingernail will be really good. Don't have to worry about... Dying on the way to Lara's. Where the fuck is that warehouse? God damn it. Jester thinks you're a decent sort, and he's not the only one. So behold, we solemnly grant you this leash. It means you're always welcome here, and that you may even get your own half one day. Not everyone does. What Jester? My half. My cat. Called Jester, because he can rope walk, stand on his four paws, and eat raw potatoes. Cool. Now look, see Murky? There she broods. She saw you get off the train this morning. Saw as you got attacked. Saw everything. But she doesn't talk much, and I think few grown-ups would believe her. It's better than nothing, though. Thank you, I'll have a word with her. Who's... You? Thank you, thank you for actually coming... No, oh, wait, keep this. Oh, okay, I understand. Who's... What are you looking at? Go away. I saw everything. No one saw me, but I did. What did you see? Everything. Did you see the fight? What is there about you to love? Nothing. So I don't. That's alright. You don't have to love me. I don't need you. Nuh-uh. Things were great without you. Great. I need you, though. So don't go anywhere, alright? Yeah. That's... Wait. Oh. Uh... Oh, you can only have a stack of ten. Hold on. I'll eat. Then I'll drink. Then I'll... Do some rearranging. There. Now, we... Desperately need to rest. Okay, this guy's gonna... Trade with me. Does not have fingernails though. Alright. Uh so the description of the fingernail is that kids use it to use it to play some game. So I'm thinking that I have to get on the other side of fucking town. I'm thinking that if I find a child, I'll see if I can trade with them. And if I can trade with them, then I'll see if I can get a fingernail. Because that seems to really be my only hope of getting across town without either dying or passing the fuck out. Sleep. Um, I only sleep for six hours. Let's get as much sleep as we can, because let's be honest. We are exhausted as shit. Uh, uh, Okie dokie. Oh, they're the three boys. Hello. My name was Jacob Sterk. Worked in, worked in shipping. Two marriages. Both happy. Fought up a daughter. Friends woke me up in the night. They were getting a posse together to catch old Kane's killer. We ambushed him at the station. That's where I was killed. With my own knife, no less. Kane? Don't you mean Barak? I was called Kirik. It was my idea to catch the murderer at the station. So we lay in ambush. The train came. A man got off. Get him, boys, I cried. That was stupid of me. The killer would be getting on. Not off. 
I'm sorry. They call me Birdie, short for Bertrand, and that's one of the kinder nicknames. Birdie was fine. A name's just a name. I got murdered at the station last night. Didn't rightly know what I was doing there. Figure I just went along with the herd. <coughs> I'm sorry, Bertrand. Oh, hello. What's up? Did you enjoy your little chats? They don't blame you, as you saw. I suppose they haven't quite come to terms with their fates yet. Or perhaps they have. Death does that to people. If I could only fix it. I'll tell you a story. Once there was a man who turned, who wanted to fix everything. He begged on bended knee for a chance to turn back time. And when he got it, history repeated itself. Good job, we told him. That's your fate. He asked us once more. So, so we let him try once more. But with a catch. He who denies his fate will be punished. He'll keep living as a cripple. Lame. Wounded. See where I'm going with this? Did he try again then? I don't remember and I don't care. Even if he didn't, there probably wasn't a happy ending. You can't fight fate, Barak. It's immutable. I'll still try. Oh. Oh! No. Hello? Oh. 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 Did that guy die? Hold on. I want to see if your friend's dead. Hey, stop. Oh, I'm actually killing them. They're not really giving me much choice to not kill them. Nope. Nope. See? You're a man of fate, Barak. What are you trying to prove? You can't change fate. Have you heard the story of Oedipus? But what's my fate? I told you already, Barak. It's not pretty. You will spill blood. Just let it go, Ripper. Don't be so bullheaded. Just remember you have a hammer. Just because you have a hammer doesn't mean every problem is a nail. Nothing wrong with my head. My brain's functioning just fine. The game didn't really give me much choice not to kill them. Why am I still exhausted? A whole endless year. Wake up, Cub. There's someone upstairs. The thief must have gotten in. Or is someone even worse? Someone even worse? Cub? So, Gravel, you remembered our old friendship. Something's fumbling around. I heard it. What if it's the thing? The thing that killed Isidore? What if the soil spit out a Shabanak after all? Don't be silly. Even I don't believe those tales. It's unbecoming of you. Alright? Well... Well, I, ho I hope so. Is there a weapon I can borrow? Of course not. Maybe a knife in the kitchen, I guess. It'll have to do. Uh, hey. Probably. Probably all right. Upstairs, huh? There wasn't a whole lot upstairs. From what I saw. Oh. Aside from that door that is now open. Hello? Who are you? Back. Got any idea where she keeps the bread? The shelves are empty. Hi, thief. Says a ripper. Sort of. I'm a surgeon. Do you believe in divination, Barak? Of course. Can you see my future? I can. Go ahead, then. You'll spill a ton of blood, Barak. Tremendous amounts. A river of blood. Family blood. Beloved blood. You will drown this town in blood. And soon. Unless you trust me. So, a bite of toast and you wave your hands and fix everything? Or do you take coin? Listen to me. You need to leave town. Now. If you must stay, lay low, do nothing. The less you do, the less grief you'll bring to those around you. Abandon your schemes. I'll handle it on my own. It'll be glorious. You'll see. What are you going to do? Whatever it takes. It's all going to hell and soon. We're halfway there now. Just stay still. Trust me, will you? I'm your sister. You're double. And I know what must be done. I know a great deal, Barak. The future is open to me. Prove it. Your life lessons will prove me right, but heed my words. Whenever you want to do something, don't. You'll just make it worse. You'll be the, de you'll be the demise of your hometown. You'll drown it with blood. Now think about it. Is that... I mean, is this something that's actually happening? Am I going to turn around and... Nope. 
so I guess I can put that away. Uh, what a twist! I robbed the uh, revenge, and somehow they're thankful for this. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just let you hang out. Not anybody dangerous, so I guess it's not a big deal. Hi. I think I'm fading. So what was it? So Some beggar, I think, broke into your house. She's babbling nonsense. Should I toss her out? Don't. If she's already here, let her be. Maybe she's hiding from the violent mob. I'll check on her later, provide some care if needed. Uh, she could use that. She seems nice. I like her. Alright, let's, uh, again, try to get some sleep. No. This town what? Can't give birth to a murderer. The fuck? Someone's here from Olgimski. They want to talk to you. Don't worry, there's no danger. Why would I worry? Can I please... Worst of all... Just have a rest. Hello. Master says you're doing well. He said, with each hour, fewer and fewer people think he's the murderer. He said, tell him that I want to talk. Let him come to the lump right away. Since when do people have masters in this town, boy? Don't you know? We all have one, but we all have but one true master since the factory was built. Perhaps Olgimski wants me in his service as well? Perhaps he does. Won't be easy for him. If he's summoning you, you must go. No dawdling, he said. True. If Big Vlad calls, you come. <sighs> Don't get the chance to have much sleep, do I? The high and mighty of this town have finally taken notice of a Barak. The witch hunt is over. I can now go, to, go out safely. Oh, okay. So I guess I was mostly just sleeping until... I could go out. Which means I can go to here. Uh, which also means I might be able to go to my house. Let's see.